If you didn't know this, we're currently in a cryptocurrency bear market of 2018. I want to talk to you about how to keep your sanity right now because uh, you read online, you see YouTube, and sometimes people start freaking out, I feel like, and I'm always, I, I, it kind of blows my mind a little bit. Um, I, I understand it. People lose dollar value in their cryptocurrencies that they've invested in. So I kind of understand the source and the concern of people's fears, if you will, but I think it almost becomes irrational. In fact, I'm certain it becomes irrational. And I want to give you just a few steps to help you keep your sanity. First and foremost, look at the cryptocurrencies that you're holding. Look at the ones that you're losing money on and, and recognize this. If you're currently losing money, two things, you only really lose money when you sell. However, there are some times when maybe you should go ahead and sell, but how do you know when to sell and when to hold? Those of you that are underwater right now, it's just probably because you, met, you, you got into the market somewhere over here. The reality is right now, if you look at the cryptocurrency market over a, a you know, two year, three year cycle, the market itself is still way up, way up. I mean, it's over, it's up, you know, it was five, six hundred dollars over here in 2016 per Bitcoin. Now in 2018, just two years later, we're up nine times that nine times that so it's not like we're underwater it's not like we're you know we're not below five or six hundred we're not below a thousand we're currently not below three thousand will we go below three thousand who knows but we're not there now so here's what i would tell you first and foremost ask yourself why did i buy this cryptocurrency in the first place if you purchased it because you believed in the greater technology or did you just purchase it because you got excited, you were afraid you were missing out, you had a little bit of FOMO, fear of missing out because you know maybe when you bought in it was headed up and you just thought it's gonna keep going up, it's gonna keep going up and you know I've waited too long, I need to go ahead and get in. If the only reason you purchased was because you, you were trying to make money and you were afraid that you were missing out and everybody else was making money around you, who knows, maybe that's the sort of time you need to consider selling out of the market. I don't know. Maybe there's something else different. I do know that people who who don't have strong convictions and why they purchased the underlying asset, in this case a cryptocurrency, are the ones who typically succumb to fear and uncertainty and doubt in the market. But if you ask yourself, if you still believe in the long-term viability of the cryptocurrency that you're holding, whether it's Ethereum, Bitcoin, Proof of Weekend, Speed3D, or whether it's the you know HX, D20 token or any of your master node coins or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's a small cap altcoin or if it's the behemoth Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP or Bitcoin Cash. It doesn't matter. If you still believe in the long term viability, then you just know that now's a chance to be able to pick up that cryptocurrency at a discount because you probably believe that in the long run, the price is going to go far higher than the current or the previous market highs. So if you genuinely believe that, this is when you're going to get tested. Are you a lukewarm kind of investor and you're just jumping in and out of everything that comes along? If that's the case, you might just want to get out of the market because you're the type of investor that's going to lose money. But if you're the investor who believes in where this is going, you believe in the technology, you have conviction, then in some ways you need to thank your lucky stars that the prices have gotten cheap again. Because if you believe in it, this is a time to hold on strong. Maybe this is the time for you to pick up more. I mean, that's not investment advice. You make that decision on your own. But if you think the market's going higher and you have some extra cash still laying on the sideline, maybe now's the time to pick up more at the cheaper prices. And I encourage you to do this. In, in down markets, this is the time to educate yourself. Make certain that you're up. Uh, uh, right now, the market is not lining up with a lot of the news. There's a lot of positive news out there with cryptocurrency right now. Uh, even some of the smaller altcoins have a lot of positive news, new partnerships, new technologies getting developed right now. But the market as a whole is still getting a kind of a bad name and it's in a bit of a slump. But if you if you hang out either on the community forums or you know come over here to Coin Market Cap, and you know you can go down the line and you can find you know any of these cryptocurrencies and you can take a look, open them up and see if there's you know. Is there any, there's a chat board, there's a message board, you know, you can see stuff like that. You can go to the website, is there a, does there happen to be anything else? Is there like a discord? You can look around for that. Hang out in the communities, find out what's going on, stay up to date with the latest news of whatever cryptocurrencies you're holding. Maybe this is the time that you realize, you know, what are the cryptocurrencies that you have the most faith in, the most belief in? 
Um, it, it doesn't really matter. We, we may have different beliefs and different faiths and, and different convictions on different crypto technology. But the bottom line is this. Now is the point that now is when you get tested, your conviction gets tested, and your belief gets tested. And it's okay if you decide that maybe this market's not for you. Figure that out now. But if you believe in the market, you believe in the technology, then just remember that the only time that you lose is when you sell. And if you believe in Bitcoin and Bitcoin values, like I, what I like to do is I like to look at the price of my currencies. If they're altcoins, I like, like to look at their price in Bitcoin. How much has the price moved in relation to Bitcoin? Because sometimes you may notice that it hasn't moved a whole lot in relation to Bitcoin. And the only reason that it seems like it's so far down on the dollar amount is because the overall market's down. So sometimes it's a little bit reassuring um, that, you know, once I go into cryptocurrencies, I typically don't go back to fiat currencies. So if I realize that I'm not down that far in relation to Bitcoin, it's like, oh, okay, the market's just gotten a little bit cheaper right now. But my, my altcoins aren't doing all that bad. Or if it's an ERC-20 token, then a lot of times I'll, I'll look at, you know, how is it doing in relation to Ethereum? You know, is it, if it's still priced, you know, about the same at the Ethereum price, then okay. Then it's not it's not the the my particular altcoin. It's just that the overall market's down right now. So now's the time that you get to determine whether you're a true believer in the market and the technology, or are you just wishy washy and you're gonna you know move in and out of the market with. Every, are you a bellwether fan? Or are you a true believer in the technology? That's what you get to decide right now, and that's a good thing. And listen, if you think you're going crazy, you can't sleep at night it's time to get out of the market you this market is already risky enough and you don't need to be in this market if you feel like that you can't hold on you don't need to be in this market if you feel like it's causing you stress you can't sleep at night this is not the place to be you know I've read stories of people you know losing their homes and all this mess because of the Bitcoin price or people losing 401k retirements and I'm like why in the world would you put your 401k into something as risky and unproven as a cryptocurrency market and if you've done that then this is a wake-up call. Maybe it's time for you to get out or at least to reevaluate your positions. I'm hoping most of you haven't done that. I'm hoping that what this market does is it gets out the people that are just looking for the quick buck. I'm hoping that this market gets back down to some of the base technology and the believers and the developers and the innovators of the technology. And I think that overall, this makes a far stronger floor or a far stronger base price that we're gonna build up from. And I'm hoping that we see a bottom somewhere around 5,000, 4,000. Hopefully we don't go all the way down to 1,000, but just know this, if we ever do end back up down in like 3,000 or less, then if you're watching my channel, you're gonna know that I'm gonna be buying more cryptocurrency because I see that as a sales price, but that's just for me personally. Let me know your beliefs down below. Let me know your thoughts down below on this current bear market. Leave a comment. I read all of your comments and I'll do my best to reply. What do you think about this current bear market? Do you agree with me or not? Let me know below. And also, be sure to subscribe to this channel. My channel is all about learning about cryptocurrencies together, investing in cryptocurrencies, and investing specifically in passive cryptocurrency assets. Take a look at a video at the end of this. Um, take a look at my video at the very end. I've got a video on cryptocurrency dividends, and that's talking about the various types of cryptocurrencies and how you can earn a passive income with those cryptocurrencies. So if you want more information like this, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. And before we get out of here, let me quickly check my uh, cryptocurrency browser. Look at this, 72 people added. This is unbelievable. I'll have a download link for crypto browser. I'm over 5,000 referrals. That link would be down below in the descriptions as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.